sort of I think you're right on that side, like looking straight through. And there's one thing, so I'm again, just really interested in the whole kind of concept of behavioral economics, so like the, the psychology and neuroscience of decision making. Um, not something that's particularly well researched per se, at least not documented with that terminology uh, relative to, to kind of larger psychology psychology and neuroscience topics when you look when you take some of that research in, in those types of fields into into the business world just this entire intention you start to really see that the way that let's say i was trying to get like you said kind of fit a square peg into a round hole the way that i would present myself will will start to give off signals that i'm not being as authentic and as true to myself I can only imagine if that goes through someone's mind, they kind of get doubts as to me as a person. That then is, I am the representative of the product at this point. That in itself will start to kill the the chance of the deal. Now, yes, fine, you might get three out of 10, two out of 10. I, I don't know if they're real stats, by the way, but just make a couple of numbers up, for example, of extra deals through the door. True, it might have the short-term kind of benefits of that year. You might make a little bit few more extra extra bucks on on commission and hit your quote a little bit higher. But what I often think a bit more about and comes onto a wider topic of maybe how salespeople should be compensated is well, how many of those will then no longer trust you as an individual for future times? Especially if you move to a different company selling to the same individuals, your trust on a human level is now broken because you kind of misled them how many of those customers will then churn after a year and actually cost the business more to actually retain, work with them, acquire them than it will in terms of reap the rewards of the revenue they'll get from them. Um, all these sorts of long-term implications, both on a personal and company level, I feel like are just not worth sacrificing just for the sake of trying to get a little extra, extra pay.